Good day, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about mean variance and standard deviation of group data. So without further ado, I'll share my computer screen with you. The obesity data for the world is given as follows. Percent of population obese and number of countries. So two columns of data. First column is percent of population obese and number of countries. So the first uh, percentage is from 11.45 to 20.45. Number of countries is 19. The next one is from 20.45 to 29.45. Number of countries is 13 and so forth. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight groups of obesity. So the first thing we have to do is find the midpoint of each class. Okay, so midpoint. So Midpoint means middle point of each class, okay? So, middle point or midpoint. So, the first midpoint is 11.45 plus 20.45 divided by 2, which is equal to, we have to use our calculator to do that, 11.45, 11.45 plus 20.45 divided by 2. So, 11.45 plus 20.45 divided by 2. And that is 15.95. So the midpoint of the first class is 15.95. Now, next one will be similarly 20.45. Oops. Okay, what's this? Next one will be 20.45 plus 29.45 divided by 2. And that one is equal to 29.25 so plus 29.45 divided by 2. And that one is 24, 24.95. Notice the difference between 24.95 minus 15.95 is equal to 9. Also notice the class width of each class. It is given by lower control limit of the second class minus the lower control limit of the first class. So 20.45 minus 11.45 is also equal to nine, okay? So each of the midpoints are separated by the class width, which is nine. So the next midpoint will be, so if I go over here, will be 24.95 plus nine is equal to 24.95 plus 9 is equal to 33.95. So this is the center or the middle point of this class, 33.95. Next one will be 33.95 plus 9, which will be 42.95. Next one will be 42.95 plus 9 is 51.95. 
Next one will be 51.95 plus 9 is 60.95. Next one will be 60.95 plus 9 is 69.95. And the last one will be 69.95 plus 9 is 78.95. So I have the midpoint of each class and the number of countries is nothing but the frequency. So what I will do is I will enter, I will use my TI-84 calculator. I will enter the midpoint in list. Midpoint is in list L1 of the calculator and the frequency is corresponding frequency in the list L2 of the calculator. So let's do it. So I'll move this a little bit. Okay, so how do you do it? You first press the stat button. No. First you enter the or clear the memories of the calculator. So press the second button. So I will uh, write this for you. Press the second button. Then the plus button on top of enter on top of enter enter is at the bottom right corner on top of enter on top of enter and then and four so second button plus on top of enter then number four Second button, then plus on top of enter, then number four. If you press number four, after plus, you will get clear all list. And hit enter. So, enter. Okay. <clears throat> and this is said done. Okay. What is the next step now? I want to move it on the left. Okay. So I'm entering the midpoint data in L1 and the frequency data in L2. So I'm pressing the stat button. I'll write it for you here. Stat button. Then select one, which is edit. Okay. <laughs> and in L1, I'm entering the midpoints. So we start from 15.95. Enter it in L1, the first entry in L1. Then 24.95. L, all in L1, then 33.95, then 42.95, then 51.95, then 60.95, then 69.95, and the last one is 78.95. So you type each number in L1 and hit enter. 78.95. Okay. So all the numbers are entered in L1. Now you press the right cursor key on the top right corner and you move to the first line in L2 where you are going to enter the frequency data. Frequency is number of countries, 29, 13, 4, 0, 2, 1, 0, and 1. So you have entered the midpoints in L1 and the corresponding frequency in frequencies in L2. Now what keys to press? So let's create some more space here. Okay. Now you're going to press first the stat button. The stat button. 
Okay, start button. And then stat and then highlight calc on the top row. Stat and then highlight calc on the top row. Okay, then number one. So after the calc button, then number one. Press number one. And you will get on your calculator screen, you are getting one where stat stats your first line list is l1 and your second line freq list frequency list is l2 if if it is empty by any chance that you just this so button this List. Okay. okay, so so you have one where stats and list is L1, the first line is L1 and second line frequency list should be L2. If you don't have L2, then you press the second button, second and two will make it L2. And then you go to below it, which is calculate. So you go to below it and then you hit, oh my goodness, calculate. And you go here and you press on calculate. So bring your cursor, which is the black rectangle on top of calculate and hit enter. Okay, and you get your sample mean. <clears throat> so let's write it down somewhere over here. X bar. This is the mean of the group data is 23.33. And you get, this is, uh, this is uh, not the entire data. So this is a sample. So SX, sample standard deviation is 12.945. You did not get variance in the calculator, so you have to do it yourself. So Sx square is equal to the variance is equal to 12.945. You type that on your calculator screen and then press the x square button. Okay, this is x square button is in the first column halfway down. So that puts an exponent two on top of 12.945, and then you hit the enter button, enter button. And so your variance is equal to 12.9, so it is 12.945, and then X square button and hit enter, it is 167.57. Okay, hence the average is 23.33, sample standard deviation is 12.945, and the sample variance is 167.57. I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, please write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, and please, uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And you can share this video with your friends and so that you and your friends can subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Thanks. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time when I'll come back with another problem, another solution.